the boat! Well, hello, and welcome to this edition of Shaky and Shed. And today, I'll be going through an eBay sub £10 logo. And here we go. You can't get much cheaper. Why others don't snap these up before me? Is anybody's guess for the example we've got? is a centenary loco so it's from 2020 so it's the ripe old age of four years old and when i got it it was a non-runner and it didn't take much to get it running i just give it a loop but it needed a further clean out I didn't read lube it because I'd already put lube it. I didn't want to overdo it. But I would have got what it got in, I don't know. It's a bit of a mystery to me. But you'll see as we go through it. First of all, we're unclipping the body. It's a fairly easy job. It's only held on by clips. Some have a screw holding them on, but it's one you check out. But they say we're absolutely clogged up with fluff. And it's a tricky one to work out. As you can see, it's there on the motor drive. It's there on the gearing. It's as if it's been run on a Christmas theme loco. Uh, layout we being a red loco it looks like it's got but then you look at it again and some of the fibers look like they could be from a glass fiber brush but then you look at it again and you're not sure there's some bits that come out of the pistons that look like they tape with threads in it it's a bit of a weird one really they're all out now but I'll be showing picking them out there we have it took the main bundle from round the motor but there's still some hanging on in there as Captain James T. Kirk said there's Klingons on the starboard bow, starboard bow, starboard bow. There's Klingons on the starboard bow. Quick, Jim, wipe them off. And here we go. It had even got onto the connecting rods and needed picking out from in between there. As you can see, it, had, it made it a bit sluggish etc as it were running it's a pretty much on nowhere on it logo because it's it must have been running clogged up with fibers and it must have stopped it and they've just put it away because it's a pretty men locum and the idea is if you see things like this on eBay it's a modern slow running loco so it's more than worth the clean up and this loco was based on a real locomotive it was originally built as a saddle tank and it didn't have a coal burner because the 
saddle tank was for royal and possibly water but it was an oil burning originally steam loco it's a Holden 101 class and as you can see there it's it's just got everywhere there's fibres God knows what they've done to the poor thing I'm guessing a Christmas layout but like I say you look at some of the fibres and they're like off a glass fibre pen bought out I don't get it I'm not getting it please help me understand there you go I'm picking them out of the piston block and there were a last little bit there and they had a scrap it kept coming out though so I was getting more confused more and more befuddled and just it was just a never-ending gold mine of fibers so god knows what they've done no wonder it didn't run when i first got it and anyway we're off the page at the moment we're back here and giving it a scrub and we're picking in between the wheels and the chassis I could have given it a full strip down to get it immaculate but I'm preferring doing it this way to show the layman what to do was not everybody wants to go as far as taking the motor out because you get in to tricky work then I'll do a full I'll do a full strip and a full build on one of these Chinese ones eventually because they are nice little runners I call on me a lot but these aren't too bad but they are cheaper quality than the original Armby or 4 or see picking out even more of that and I'll show you in the piston block in a minute I scraped along the piston block and they look they look factory fitted it's like some taping that they are popped it out like tape with fibre strands in it and there's two of them now whether that's a factory idea at one point or whether it's a home fitted idea but as you can see it's a piece of tape and it has fibres in please help me understand it it's just befuddling but you can see it's tape and it's got fibres there but it came out and there was one in the other side so it's someone obviously did it for a reason maybe maybe the factory but it's one of those things that weren't needed it absolutely weren't needed and anyway here yeah, we're putting the motor back on He's got a cap at the rear, you put the cap back on, then clip the clip down. And we make sure the connecting rods are in the piston blocks. And then we put the body on and clip it in. And at this point it's a good time to be straightening out couplings because they were a wee bit bent maybe as they threw it over the room because it stopped running you never know these little old got some abuse and the 
there we have it drops nicely nothing now the bend side of it, it drops down nice as does the rear one but yeah as I say if you get these cheap locals they're right for detailing Double O'Neill did uh, detailing on his channel and I've done a smoky jaw one I've yet to do one of these but you can put the handrails on the uh, crew figures lamps, lamp irons you can put the tools in uh, and you can just detail them up as I say it was a real local you can get the br etched brass number plate for it great western decals from Fox Trans transfers the name plate and decals so you can detail it up into a nice local and it runs beautiful and slow as can be seen here how much lower do you want things good scale speed and once I run it a bit and get it lubed a bit properly after its ordeal it should by rights run a lot nicer I won't be surprised if it isn't even running yet it just looked like it got some unfair abuse but as I say nice little look right? And how much slower do you want? Anyway, thanks for watching. And tatty pie, people. Tatty pie. And let's take her out there. Bye.